What's going on guys, it's Kyle Darts here, back with another video. Guys, I know it's been a while since I worked on this light machine gun, and I promise you guys we will get this thing finished eventually, but I've just been like, you know, uh, so overloaded with uh, different tutorials I've been working on, and I haven't really been interested in doing this. And plus, like, I don't know how many people even watch this, but nonetheless, you guys still have requested it, so I have to get this thing finished. So let's start working on the stock area. So let's turn on the canvas for this. And first I'm gonna start combining all the pieces that make up this stock. Ex with the exception of this, I don't wanna add this to it. So I'm gonna to go to combine. And if you don't see combine here, go to modify, combine. And let's just combine all these pieces. And let's ensure the operation is on join. Let's hit okay to finalize that. Now what I'll do is, uh, really quick turn off this canvas I'm gonna create a pipe with this area right here or I could just fill it in I'll, I'll, I'll just add a fill it so I'll hit F on the keyboard and I'll just round this area off we'll bring it in that looks good let's okay and let's do the same for this one here so we'll hit F once again to bring back up fillet, we'll select this area. So we'll come around this off in the opposite direction. That looks good. Now what I like to do is combine these two bodies together, which they should have been combined in the beginning, but we can still do it at this level. Now I'll hit F once again and I'll round off this area Let's turn back on our canvas so we can see the rings that we're about to create right here. So now we want to create these rings that cut into this bottom area. So to do this correctly, we can now combine these two together. Let's hit join. Now let's go to create pipe. Let's select this area right here. Let's go back to the right view so we can see if it matches the thickness. I'd say that's about good. So let's change this from cut to new body. And let's press OK. And I first want to adjust this. So I'll go down to the bodies tab and I'll right click on that body we just created and I'll move this to match the one here. Now I'm going to create a pattern of this over here. So let's go to create pattern, pattern on path, select, uh, change the type to uh, bodies from faces and the objects will be this and the path will be, we can just choose any line. So we'll choose this one and we can just go to the last one, which is right here and let's add two more. So change the quantity to five. Now it matches up perfectly and let's press okay. And now we can go to combine and then we're going to combine the main body with these five rings here. You can also select the select them here as well. And change this from join to cut. Once you're satisfied, hit OK. And let's turn this canvas off so we can see what we just did. It looks great. So we don't have any overlapping cuts going through further than they should. Everything works out perfectly. That's exactly what you want. Now let's turn this canvas back on and see what's our next step. So let's start working on these rings here. So what I do is select this surface, go to create sketch, go to circle down with a circle. <clears throat> and if you don't see it here, you hit the create drop down and you can choose circle, circle down with a circle here. 
Or you could choose the two-point circle. Either one. I guess we'll use two-point circle. Doesn't really matter. They all make the same shape. Right click, hit OK to finalize that. And we'll go to create rectangular pattern. Select our ring and we'll just go to the right. That's good. And let's hit OK to finalize that. Shift select all three of those profiles, right click, go to press pull. And let's just rotate around a bit and we'll bring these inwards. Just a little bit. And change it from cut to new body. Let's hit OK. Let's turn off our canvas really quick. And <clears throat> I want to mirror these over to the opposite end. I could just do this all this operation on this side and then split the body later on and then mirror it so I don't have to do the same thing twice. But for the sake of the tutorial, I will just mirror these over. So I'll go to create, mirror, change it from faces to bodies, and I'll select these three bodies we created. The mirror plane will be this plane here, right down the center, and it mirrors it perfectly, and let's hit OK. Now we can combine this, so I'll select this stock here, and then I'll select these three. Oh, not those. These three. Ensure the operation is on cut and let's hit OK. Now we have that little uh, detail there. And we can always hit F to fill in these later on. But let's not get too carried away and focus on details just yet. So with the canvas turned back on, we see this shape here. And it's actually a little bit off, but we'll just go with it. So let's select this surface here, go to Create Sketch, and let's start tracing these shapes. So off the back, we can see that this is a slot, although the bottom is a little bit different. But for the most part, it's a slot shape. Let's go to Slot. We'll do Center to Center Slot. So from... This area right here, we'll just go straight down to about here. Then we'll click again. Right there. So we have that shape. Now let's go to choose this line tool. And notice I'm doing it in the middle. I'm just following the reference. This shouldn't be anything new to you guys though. And I'm skipping the rounded corners because I'm going to do something here in a bit to compensate for that. We'll do the same for this one as well. And I am skipping all the rounded um the rounded ones for now. The rounded edges. So now I'm going to go to create arc, three point arc, and I'll just go point to point. So from this point to this point, round that off. This point to this point, round that off. And I'll just do one here. I don't, I'm not going to worry about this detail here because it's insignificant right now. So point to point. And now we can just trim these off, the pieces we don't want. Now we can right click, hit OK. And let's just press pull these. Right click. And we'll just press pull this all the way through. Ensure the operation is on cut and hit OK. Now, if we turn our canvas off, you see we have that the detail we want it. And I will hit F to go into fillet mode, but let's just turn this canvas back on so we can see what we're doing. Hit F now. 
and let's select all the areas that make up this edge or these edges I should say and let's go back to the side view here which is the right view and we can use this reference to better see what we're doing and that looks good so we'll hit right click hit OK we'll hit F once again to go back into fillet mode and we'll do the same for the rest of the cutout pieces so hopefully I'm not going too fast and I'm uh, explaining everything properly so you guys can fully understand what we're doing and why we're doing it and now we're going to do the same thing for this cutout Now let's go back to our side view and reference this a bit better. That's it okay. And now this little detail that I do want to have in here is this cut that's right here. So if we turn off the canvas, we can see this a bit better. This is split. So we want to add some manufactured detail here. So with the canvas time back on, we can go to create sketch. Select the 2D background. Well, let me control Z that, hit the wrong button. In the right view, go to create sketch. Select the 2D background or the plane. I'll choose the plane. And we're just gonna create a line here. And you know, lines are infinite, so we can really do this anywhere. We can create it right here. And it doesn't matter how long the line is because lines go forever. So now we have that there, we can hit finish sketch. Now let's go to modify, split body, where are you hiding? Select our body, and for the splitting tool will be this line here. And let's rotate around so you can see what it's doing. It's cutting it all the way through. And let's hit okay. And let's toggle off this canvas so you can see that it did make the cut. But now we need to add some detail to this. So what we can do is go to create pipe. Select the pipe. And this looks like a, a, a good size, but let's just reference this canvas really quick. It actually looks like, yeah, so it's about like this big. Change it to cut. It's uncut, it's it okay. Now we have our nice slice. Now what we want to do to simplify this is combine this back together because remember we separate it so it's by itself. So let's go to combine. And remember before, if it's not up here, it's down here. Change it from cut to join. And uh, just for the sake of tutorial so we can be done with the stock area, let's just round these off here so we'll hit F to enter fillet mode we'll grab the outer rings and we'll just add a little bit of uh, a fillet to this now we're done so hopefully you guys found this tutorial somewhat easy simple and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.